Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friends, let me invite you today to get a cup of coffee. Uh, turn with me to Psalm number 119. I want us to look at the uh, first eight verses of Scripture there. Get a cup of coffee again, I remind you, or the beverage of your choice. Let's have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. There's just not a better way to start a brand new day than a good fresh cup of hot coffee. Spending some quality time in the pages of God's Word. You know, friend, I love the way the first eight verses of Psalm number 119 reads. Uh, listen to the words. The Bible says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with, listen, the whole heart. They also uh, do no iniquity, and they walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto, thy, unto, unto all thy commandments. I don't want to leave the word all out. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. I will keep thy statutes, O forsake me not utterly. Friend, today I want to bring to you a, a devotion that I've titled Life and Curves. You know, sometimes life can throw us a curve. And how do we deal with that? Well, friend, you're blessed when you follow God's directions, doing your best to find Him in all circumstances that come into your life. That's right. You don't go off on your own. You walk straight along the road that the Lord Jesus has set, realizing that God prescribed the right way to live and uh, he expects you to live the right way. Let your steps be steady. Keep to the course that he set. Uh, don't have any regrets in uh, comparing uh, life with God's counsel, knowing that God speaks to you and directs you straight from his heart. Learn his patterns of righteous ways. And do what he tells you to do. And don't ever walk off. Don't ever leave him because truly he'll never leave you, nor will he ever forsake you. My friend, life certainly can throw us a curve from time to time. Each of us has certain desires and each set goals for our lives. Many times, my friend, when we do so, we never consider the plans God may have for our lives. Now, I'm going to confess this morning, I know that I've been guilty of this. Sometimes we just have to flow with the curve that comes and let go of our uh, thoughts and desires and let God have his way. Now, to let go and let God have his way means that we completely turn loose of the stirring wheel so that Jesus can take the wheel. And we let God do the stirring and directing and driving us along life's way. Now, friend, I fail miserably sometimes in this area. And today, I certainly want to stop and pause and recommit myself to the Lord Jesus Christ. And surrender all. All to Jesus I surrender. What about you? You know, we sing that song from our Baptist hymnal, I Surrender All. But many times we could change that title to I Surrender Some. God wants us to surrender all. 
And when we decide to surrender all, it's then that God can take our lives, curves and all, everything that's on the road of life, and he'll direct the path. And friends, when he directs the path, you'll be headed in the right direction. Think about these things. Pray with me. Father, thank you so much that you remind us again to turn loose of the stern wheel of life and let you do the driving. Because, Lord, when you direct our path, it's the right way. Help us turn loose and surrender all so, Lord, you can be all that you need to be in us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray you'll do just that and do your best to make a difference in your world. How your life could be the only Bible that some will ever read. So let others see Christ in you. Have a wonderful day.